हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर नूपुर शाह आई एम कंसल्टेंट पीटल मेडिसिन एंड प्रीनेटल जेनेटिक्स एंड एन ऑथर ऑफ बुक पीटल इको कार्डियोग्राफी सिंप्लीफाइड टुडे आई वांट टू शो यू थ्री डी पीटल कार्डियक मॉडल व्हिच इज डेवलप्ड बाय मी व्हिच एनहांसेस द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ फीटल कार्डियक एनाटॉमी एंड देयर बाय इम्प्रूव योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ कार्डियक डिफेक्ट्स एज वेल एज नॉर्मल कार्डियक पैटर्न ऑन पीटल इको कार्डियोग्राफी Let's see. So this is a 3D cardiac model, fetal cardiac model which I have made, and let's just open it up as if we are cutting it axially, and look at the various planes and the relations of the various blood vessels and the outputs. So let's talk about the four chamber first. That's the four chamber of the fetal heart as we see on the ultrasound apically or basally. These are the four chambers. That's the left ventricle. the right ventricle the right atrium and the left atrium that's the interventricular septum in brown that's the interatrial septum the septum secundum part the left ventricle as we see is sleeper shaped with a clean apex and it forms the apex of the fetal cardia the right ventricular apex has a moderator band which helps in identification of morphological right ventricle and this gives a hazy look or a shady look to the apex the tricuspid valve connecting the right atrium to the right ventricle is more apically inserted and that gives an offset at or the crux the septum primum is directed towards the left that's the foramen obliqui which allows the blood flowing flow from the right atrium to left atrium that is septum secundum right atrial appendage as we see here is broad pyramidal base shaped whereas the left atrial appendage is finger like with a narrow base left atrium as we see here drains four pulmonary veins inferior and superior right and left and the right atrium as we see here drains the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava into it The superior vena cava also drains the left brachiocephalic vein which traverses almost horizontally in the upper mediastinum in front of the great vessels aorta and the pulmonary artery and it is formed by the union of the internal jugular veins and the subclavian veins. The right brachiocephalic vein is almost vertical. Coming to the outflow tracts that is the left ventricular outflow tract and that's the right ventricular outflow tract right ventricular outflow tract is supposed to come out it comes out more interiorly and gives out the main pulmonary artery which then splits into or bifurcates into the left and the right pulmonary arteries as we see here the left ventricular outflow tract as we see in the orange comes out from the left ventricle guarded by the aortic valve gives out the ascending aorta that crosses over the right ventricular outflow and gives out gives out the arch of aorta arch of aorta gives rise to three head and neck vessels as we see here the brachiocephalic trunk which gives rise to the right subclavian artery and the right common carotid artery the left common carotid artery as a second branch and the left subclavian artery as a third branch in the fetus there is a shunt which is known as ductus arteriosus which we see here in yellow which connects the pulmonary artery to the aorta the insertion of the ductus arteriosus is usually near the isthmus of the aorta after the origin of the head and neck vessels so if we look at the three vessel view which we are used to taking so that is at this section where we can see the pulmonary artery which is anterior most and on the left followed by the aorta and the superior vena cava so three vessel view is at this level as we go a little more cranially we obtain the three vessel trachea view which includes the ductus arteriosus and a short part of pulmonary artery on the left the aorta which joins the ductus so the aortic arch the transverse aortic arch which joins the ductus arteriosus and the superior vena cava 
so that is at this level and it's a little oblique as compared to the three vessel view i hope this 3d model has improved your understanding about the fetal cardiac anatomy stay tuned for more such understandings thank you